Hey guys, Luke Zocker here, and I'm gonna show you now how to do a push-up. It's an upper body movement, really works the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps, and who doesn't love a good push-up? I know I do. So what I'm gonna do first, right, I'm gonna show you how to set up for a push-up. You're gonna have your hands shoulder width apart. Biggest thing I want you to focus on is you don't wanna come out when you're doing this exercise with your elbows and flare out. Say, from your body, I want you to beat about a 40 to 35 degree angle, and you want to keep them there. It's going to look after your shoulders and keep them in a good position. So, here, hands underneath shoulders, and then the other thing is, you're going to bring your shoulder blades back. You watch when I rotate my shoulder blades back, I'm going to be in a good position. You don't want to be forward, bring them back. So here, hands in good position, one foot out, activate your core so your back's nice and straight, Hands neutral, you're out of position, shoulder blades are back, see there the difference? Shoulder blades are back, come down, push up. Back nice and straight, heads neutral, drive up. You don't need to go all the way to the ground. If you want to, as people say, imagine a coat hand underneath your chest, get to that position, drive up. That's too hard, a modification is to do it on your knees. So everything stays the same, core's activated, and then just on your knees. So hands are here, Shoulder width apart, um, underneath. Now, the further out your uh, knees are, the harder it will be, as opposed to here or to here. So I'll be here. Back's nice and straight, head's neutral, driving down. Doof. Elbows in good position, shoulder blades back. There. Boom. That wasn't too bad. Start there, progress up to a push up. Then, if you want to do a progression from there, I would just slow down the, the uh, the negative part of the exercise. So it's just time under tension. So once you can do, or let's say you can do 10 push-ups with these, then I would start doing five second negatives. That would look like this. So get that set up, hands in good position, core switch on your here. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up again. Five, four, three, two, one, drive up. Let's say you do a push-up, guys. Make sure you do it with good form. Uh, the best way to check your form is film yourself on a camera, um, watch the playback, and then you can see where you need to do some improvement. Um, and then for long term, you'll be doing them with good form and you won't get injuries. So that's how you do a push-up and get pushing.